Welcome to MedBits Made Simple. In this video, we're gonna see about vomiting in pregnancy, which is also known as hyperemesis gravidarum. Now, vomiting in pregnancy may be due to many causes such as the pregnancy per se, which is physiological, medical causes such as hepatitis, surgical causes such as appendicitis, gynecological causes such as ovarian tumors, and much more. The vomiting in pregnancy can be simple vomiting, which is not severe. It is also known as morning sickness. And it will be severe vomiting, which is also known as hyperemesis gravidarum, which is very severe vomiting. Now first, let's see about simple vomiting associated with pregnancy. Simple vomiting in pregnancy is usually due to elevated level of serum human chorionic gonadotropin and hormones such as estrogen and it's also due to the altered immunological states associated with pregnancy the thing about simple vomiting is it usually resolves within 12 to 14 weeks of pregnancy usually it doesn't go beyond that the symptoms are nausea and slight vomiting which is not so severe the treatment is mainly reassuring the patient that it is not severe and can give vitamin b1 supplementation if required there are specific antiemetic drugs such as trifluperazine promethazine amdocetron which can be given if the vomiting is so severe now let's get into the main topic for today's session, which is hyperemesis gravidarum. Hyperemesis gravidarum is a severe vomiting, which is associated with pregnancy and it is harmful to the mother's health. And it, it incapacitates the mother from doing her day-to-day -day activities most of the time. What are the risk factors for developing hyperemesis gravidarum? Not everyone develops it. The risk factors include first trimester of pregnancy, the first pregnancy or primary gravida are more prone to develop, women at younger age are more prone to develop, and low body mass of women is a risk factor, and the previous history of motion sickness or migraine is also a risk factor. What are the complications associated with hyperemesis gravidarum? These include dehydration due to excess loss of fluid and metabolic acidosis due to the electrolyte defects and there can be alkalosis and there can be electrolyte imbalances. And there can also be weight loss if it is so severe and chronic. Now let's see about the clinical course of hyperemesis gravidarum. We can classify the patients as early cases, so the beginning cases, where there, where there are no features of dehydration or starvation, and the late cases, which are chronic cases, where the features of dehydration and starvation are prominent and can be seen easily. There are also features such as oliguria, which is decreased urine output, epigastric pain and constipation seen in late cases of hyperemesis gravidarum. The fetuses are usually not affected by hyperemesis gravidarum. However, the risk of low birth weight and prematurity still remains if the hyperemesis is not treated properly. How do you manage hyperemesis gravidarum? maintenance of hydration, hydrated status of the women and control vomiting correct the fluid and electrolyte balance by giving infusions of appropriate levels of fluid and electrolytes you can correct the metabolic disturbances which has occurred due to the excess vomiting can prevent the complications associated with severe vomiting and 
and you can also care for the current pregnancy. Oh, antiemetics are given and it's very helpful to control vomiting. Commonly used drugs include promethazine, prochlorpyrazine, and oxalamine. Metoclopramide can also be given. The nutrition supplementation may be required if, if there is a chronic history of vomiting, which can, which can be done by giving vitamin B1, B6, or B12. The diet regulation is very important in the treatment of hyperemesis gravidarum. Patients can be advised to take dry carbohydrate diets such as breads and biscuits. And they should be told to avoid oily food strictly as they can increase vomiting. And they should also be advised to take small frequent meals rather than huge heavy meals at a time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Medwits Made Simple. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus by clicking on the links given in the description below and please support us by donating on Patreon and tell us what videos you need in the future by commenting below. Thank you.